Hey guys, Rain Young here at the 2022 Tribeca Festival here at the premiere of Next Exit. And I'm about to talk to some of the talent, including a certain Mr. Daniel Robert Elfman, otherwise known as Danny Elfman, who composed the film's themes and some of the music. Here we go. Hey. So what attracted you to this role? Uh, Molly Elfman and her vision. She approached me to play the, the, the lead character, Rose. I was really intimidated to do it because of the material and when we meet Rose, she's in a really complicated place in her life. Oh, Somebody I'm, exciting. Someone's her. excited. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Um, love it. But yeah, so initially I was really nervous to play the character, but Molly, her vision had me sold, and just her as a human being. She's just one of the most collaborative, kind, okay. chill people. Cool, cool. Yeah, yeah. So I haven't seen the film yet. I, I'm going to see it tonight. Cool. Um, and I'm really interested because it's a very dark topic of death. So going into it, were you a little a little bit apprehensive, or did you were you did you welcome the challenge? Well, I think when you see the film, you'll be pleasantly surprised that it's it goes in a different direction. There are other themes to be explored. For me, the film is about yes, death, but also rebirth nice. and how we cycle through that on our time and on this planet. Yeah. Um, there are some really cool metaphors given the last few years we've all had with COVID. Right. COVID is not explored in this movie, but there's a theme that maybe people can relate to from their experience. Gotcha. And we all need that right now, for sure. I think so. <laughs> awesome. So uh, tell me, what was it like working on this film? Unique. Um, <laughs> it was during the beginning of COVID. I drove across country by myself to okay. meet up with the crew, to pod with everybody. That's dedication. <laughs> um, yes, it is. And I'm so lucky to have been able to be part of this, and, and I had the best time. It was very unique. Awesome, awesome. What do you hope audiences take away from the film? A new perspective. Hi. Nice to meet you. We actually met at the Museum of uh, Modern Art a number of years ago for the Tim Burton exhibit. Oh, right. <laughs> it's good to see you again. Yeah, good to see you. <laughs> so, uh, what attracted you to this project? My daughter is the writer-director. Right. <laughs> that's, that's enough, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a very proud moment for me. And how did you approach the film musically? I'm curious. I mean... I just like, I don't know, I just kind of, she wanted some kind of quirky themes, some music that played a couple of scenes, because I couldn't score the whole film, because I was in the middle of another thing at that time. And uh, so I did, and I gave her, I said, you know, use these if you like, or don't use them if you don't like, and she's like, no, no, I like them. So I said, okay, well, my gift. And what was it like working with the composer, Ariel, is it? I mean, she took what I did and then went off and did her own thing. We didn't really interface. Okay. No, I just wrote some stuff and then she, I said, you can use it if you like or don't okay. use it if you don't like. And, you know, I, I just, I'm just trying to be a helpful, <laughs> helpful papa here. You know? Of course. Whenever you provide a theme, it's always a great help to the movie. That's for sure. Thank you. Yeah. And I just want to thank you for, for all your decades of great work. You are a true artist and I respect you. You are my favorite composer, I'll, I'll Thank be honest. Thank you so much, I really appreciate that. Also, a side note, um, I remember the, ni the Nissan ads you composed in 1996. Oh, wow. Yeah. I don't even remember that. <laughs> I mean, you got me there. Yeah. Wow. And they were fantastic. They were a wonderful mix of like Edward Scissorhands and even a little flubber. So. Wow, okay. Cool. <laughs> uh, Randy Unger, Unger the Radar, how are you? Hi, it's so nice to meet you. <laughs> you too. The traffic in the background is perfectly lovely, New York. Right? There we are. Yeah. So congratulations on the film. I have not seen it yet. I'm going to see it tonight. Okay, good. Very good. excited. It, it looks awesome from what I've seen so far, from what I've heard from everybody on this carpet. Um, how did you, how did the project come about? Um, it came about, I was writing it over about 10 years, and then when COVID hit, it just became so relevant to me that one thing changes in our entire world has an effect and the ripple effect that goes out. And so I didn't want to make a COVID film, but it just felt so relevant and timely. And I wanted to talk about the effect that it can have on people. And I also wanted to find a way to give some hope. Okay. And we all need that right now, for sure. And ghosts. We all need a little hope <laughs> and a little ghost. And a little music from your dad doesn't help. I loved Art. it. Yeah, Art. he was fan. No, it doesn't hurt at all. Right. It's really wonderful. He, he's talented, that guy. Oh, my God. What was it like uh, growing up in that house? You know, I didn't have anything to compare it by, so honestly, it felt very normal to me. Okay. Yeah. So, so you pretty much heard, like, the beginnings of certain themes. Were you there when he composed The Simpsons? I mean, I was probably outside playing in the dirt, <laughs> eating it. Uh, but uh, I did hear it around me at all times, and I am aware of it. But uh, And I love being on a uh, scoring stage. It's one of my favorite places to be. Nice. What was the most magical moment working with your dad? 
just is very intuitive to what a film needs. I think uh, there's ideas of what you think it should have, and then there's the reality. And he's okay. very good at honing in and finding that. Sure, I love it. All right, well, I look forward to seeing the film tonight. So Thank you so much, Thank Molly. You so much. <laughs> And guys, if you want to see previous episodes of Unger the Radar, just visit the YouTube channel, Unger the Radar. It's Unger with a G. Uh, please subscribe and share. You can also check out new episodes of Unger the Radar on Manhattan Neighborhood Network on the Lifestyle Channel uh, every Monday at 11 a.m. Eastern. And you can also check out more coverage of the Tribeca Festival this year only on the YouTube channel.